All right, this is a weekly reading for Taurus. Um, I know it's been a while. I have a lot of, you know, channel messages for you. I also have kind of a description for you of who might be coming into your life, influencing your life or decisions, or kind of getting in the way of something. Um, I'm not really sure what exactly is going on in your life at the moment. But I feel like there might be some confusion. Um, and we all go through those days where we, you know, there is too much. Retinas need a break, like <laughs> that type of thing. So it's not your fault that you're confused or you might be a little listless or you might be hungry. Um, you do have to take time for yourself. I always tell Taurus to, you know, take, take a day off, you know. You don't have to be 100% all the time. You need to eat. You need to be self-aware of yourself and relax. Okay? So, let's see. Week's theme. Uh, okay. We have the King of Wands. So, there's some passion here. Um, it might not be the passion you want. Um, there's more of going through something. So, let's see. Even if a strong rival appears face each other fairly without tricks they might turn out to be an un unexpected friend so I feel like you might not have too many friends but with everything going on right now it's the it's the unexpected okay so I feel like you kind of put a lot of people in a certain um, thing. Either you, you've had experiences where you don't like people or you've had bad experiences with certain people that might have stirred the pot um, in your life. But I feel like some of those people might actually be really good friends to you and they might know you better than you know yourself. So um, <clears throat> just just be a little bit mindful of like your history with like these people that you might have put on the back burner too um they're not bad people but i would say that there's history and you do have to squash beef or address the elephant in the room as they say so let's see we have the beginning of the week we have the star which would be the seven of pentacles um So there's a connection, a chance um, to set up if there is a synchronization or um, sympathizing gentle feelings, a lot of people and things begin to connect. Linked by a deep friendship greater and will likely be um, accurate. So there's a, there's a loop here and this might have happened this original interaction around May 11th, May 12th, or May 20th. Um, I feel like there, there was like a short conversation about doing a collaboration or hanging out with somebody that might have been an enemy before or might have had a tiff with before. And then you never really got back to this person or maybe you both got busy or something. But there there was a connection based on a truce or something. So you might want to reopen that um, aspect. So uh, for the middle of the week, we have the lovers or the six of cups, as I say it. Um, <coughs> so there is a lot of things to hash out. I'm actually seeing a maze in my little mind of mine so you're gonna have to go through the whole history of this friendship relationship front of me type thing um so draw a image of an achievement that you would like to achieve <coughs> that is also important to listen to others advice on it so I believe that you're trying to either do a side hustle or you're trying to start a business or you're trying to figure a deeper situation out. 
And in order to do that, you do need to hear from other parties. Um, and then you kind of come up with your own way of doing things. You don't have to do it always the way other people do it. But you're going to come up with your own way of doing things. So, number four, we have the Emperor for the end of the week. So, the end of the week... So, there's a hint of progression and um, competition. An expectation, a time of change in activity. There is a big possibility of getting useful information. Observe the situation around you at this time and be more cautious about what she would usually do. Um, the <coughs> the expectation and the decision is important at this time and space. Um, all things need to be repaid. Um, so if somebody gives you advice, you might have to give them advice later on, or you might have to help them out with something later on. So this isn't just a free informational thing. You're going to have to do something for them, and it might be a little bit out of your wheelhouse. Um, so there's, there's a bit of a um, thing here. So, the weekend, we have the Four of Swords. Um, Four of Swords. Um, there's some feelings here, and I don't know who you're talking to exactly, but there are some feelings, all right? I, I don't know if they're romantic, but they're, you know, in, in that vicinity. So, beware of being overconfident. It may cause people around you to hate you or be angry at you. <laughs> So there, there could be some, a little bit of hatred. But there can also be some people that like you, but they just don't know what exactly is their boundaries. Um, so what are you going to learn? Uh, we have the two of wands in reverse. Two of Wands in reverse is the dash. You'll go back to the starting point of if you give up now. Precious natural luck fades away when suffering heavy losses. So you could be dealing with a lot of different things at the moment. <coughs> I could really bother you at the moment so we have self delusion that you think that your winnings will be able to pay off all your debts and losses and then we have the description of the person very distinctive knows good reflexes a sharp small eyes chatty sm a smooth talker mature face older than uh, 50 or 60 years old of age. So this could be your father or somebody who is of an influence to you. Um, so I would just listen to what this person has to say. You don't have to take it as like gospel, but you do have to understand what they're saying. You know, you don't have to take the whole cow. You can just take pieces. But, um, I, I do think they make some good points, and it will help you to take their counsel. But you also have to change a few things about yourself. Growing up is about editing certain points of yourself that you might not like, and that might not give you the recommended um, uh, end goal that you want. Okay, so you do have to edit a little. <coughs> not much, I just think. Some people might be getting the point that you're not 100% all the time. So, just be mindful of that. The way people see you is kind of how you see yourself, too. So, yeah. um, so anyway, Taurus, hopefully this helps you out. Um, make sure you take care of yourself, others, um, everybody. And like I told Aries, 
if you hear about a hayride and you don't understand what the people are saying, uh, stay away from it because usually <laughs> there, there's some bad stuff like waking up in a bathtub with ice and losing both your kidneys. So be very aware of what's going on around you, especially with self-delusion. Um, self-delusion is you think that you're something that you're not. Okay, so it could be a good thing or a bad thing. It's it, it's based on self-image. Anyway, so be careful. Have fun. Take care of everybody. <clears throat> I'll be around, I guess. Um, I, I'm still recovering from corona. I've been in and out of the hospital a couple, a couple times. Haven't felt good about it. Have been running a fever. Have been coughing a lot. Have been having other complications so I, I've been trying to keep everything on the low low <laughs> until I, I I can get back to normal um, things so see what happens anyway Taurus take care of yourself all right later